So in this video, I wanted to talk briefly about the Lamy Ion fountain pen. The uh, Ion is a pen I had done a video about maybe a year ago in the ballpoint style, but I had recently picked up it in fountain pen, in the fountain pen for a really good deal, slightly used, but in great condition, and I wanted to talk about it. Uh, I think generally speaking, the Ion is one of Lamy's more disappointing pens in, of the last couple of years. I generally don't share that opinion, but if you were to read reviews online and general thoughts, a lot of people didn't like the pen. It had some manufacturing problems at first or quality control problems. Uh, the size is maybe not for everyone's liking. Not everyone loves metal body pens, uh, but I actually do like the Ion a fair bit. I like it more in the fountain pen than the ballpoint. The ballpoint has some serious manufacturing flaws that kind of ruin it for me. But uh, again, anyway, I bought this one for cheap and I figured I'd do a brief video about it. So really quickly, if you're not familiar with the Ion, what's the deal? Uh, it is a metal body Lamy pen sold in a ballpoint roller ball, in this case, the fountain pen, sold in black and silver initially, recently, recently released in a red, that's what you see here, and a blue. I haven't seen the blue. The red is okay, I like the black better. The uh, It's a good size pen, so really, nice width, like, I don't know, 12, 13 millimeters in the grip, a brushed aluminum body, brushed aluminum cap, spring-loaded steel clip, very simple on the outside. So the top and the bottom are just that sort of like, uh, I don't know, extruded aluminum, something like that. It's a cartridge converter, like uh, most Lamy pens. And uh, that's pretty much the basics. Again, it's a larger pen for Lamy, uh, a good deal larger than like a CP1, uh, more along the size of the Scala or the Studio. Here's it next to a, a Sharpie for reference. So a little bit bigger than a Sharpie. So uh, you can get a good idea for that. It does post. Uh, it's not really a comfortable pen to post. It's, it becomes too long and too heavy. And then it it kind of pressure fits on in this not quite perfect way. It's fine, I would say. I just, I don't feel like it's very secure. The, uh, one of the notable features of the Ion, aside from the all metal body, is that it uses a different nib than the rest of Lamy's fountain pens. So the, the Lamy 2000 obviously has the different nib, the integrated nib. Uh, Lamy's known for their modular nib system where it just slides on and off of the feed. And the standard nib is called the Z50. And that's this angular nib here. It's like a, basically a straight angle from here down. This is called the Z53. It's a slightly different nib. I think the designer of the Ion had it in his design contract or what have you that he would get a little bit different nib. And uh, I wrote about this on unsharpened.com so you could check it out for details. But basically, you can see this Z53 is slightly rounded here and slightly curved down. It's essentially the same nib as the uh, stainless steel Z50, but it looks a little bit different. It writes the same. There's no real difference there. And you could put a Z50 here if you want, or you could upgrade it to the gold Lamy nibs, the Z55 or the Z57. But uh, anyway, just an a interesting little quirk of the ion. As far as the writing goes, it's uh, it writes just like any Lamy nib, which is to say, uh, writes really well. It's very consistent, very reliable, uh, very little in the way of variation, but it just does, it just writes and writes and has no problem. You go upside down, go sideways, uh, left-handed, right-handed, too fast, very slow. And it's just a nice writer. I usually buy Lamy in the medium, uh, but now I've started to move over to the fine more and more, just because I've found that it lets out a sufficient amount of ink and it's less messy uh, for me as a left-hander and I have no problems with it uh, ever drying out or whatever. So why not go with the fine and keep things a little bit uh, cleaner on the page? I really like Lamy's stainless steel nibs I like their gold nibs too, which we'll cover in a, in a future video, but I do like this nib. The main criticism, 
criticism I would have with the Z55 is also probably what Lamy would see from, at least from a manufacturing standpoint, as a key strength, which is it writes exactly the same as the Z50. So there's no really need to track one down if you have a similar pen. You don't go out and buy a Z55 or don't buy the Ion just to use this nib. So again, I've talked a fair bit about the Ion in the past, we're talking about it now, and nothing has really changed except for the fact that I like the fountain pen more than I like the ballpoint. So should you go out and buy a Lamy Ion is sort of the question here, but the pen has been, I would say, largely disregarded by new buyers, and it wasn't really uh, favored by reviewers. So if you were to go ahead and read about it, I think you'd get a pretty negative impression of the Ion overall. Uh, it had some issues like the ballpoint pen, the internals loosen up, which is for me a serious problem. Uh, and then with some pens, the cap has been wiggling. This one doesn't wiggle, so I think my guess is Lamy has taken Lamy has taken corrective measures and either fixed that or uh, addressed the problem and uh, made it so it doesn't. I mean, I guess fixed it overall, but I haven't seen it happen. I just don't know if it was happening with every pen or if it was uh, happening on some pens and now it's better quality control as opposed to a manufacturing fix. Couldn't tell you there, but this one has no problems with it. And this is a newer one because I know the red was only released in limited, I mean, in the past uh, year or 18 months or something like that. So assuming the manufacturing problems are okay, then uh, I think some people still don't like the size and they don't like the all metal of the Ion, but neither of those bother me. In fact, this, those are both reasons why I reach for the Ion, because it is a different pen from most of what I have, and I don't buy too many all aluminum pens, so I do appreciate this. Uh, so I would not recommend going out and buying a $75 brand new Lamy Ion. I just, I don't think it's worth it. I think you'll have more fun buying something like, uh, I don't know, Twisby VAC 700R or something like that. Those are just great pens for the money. This is a good pen, but at the price point, I wouldn't recommend it. That said, these things sell for really good prices used, just because the used market seems to not really value these so much. So instead of paying 7,500 at retail, or sorry, 75 at retail, if you could buy one of these for 35, 30, guys between 30 and $35 used in really good condition, I would definitely recommend picking one up. Uh, it might take a little while. You might have to set up some eBay searches or hunt around on Reddit. But for that price, I think it's a really good pen. And uh, I would just keep that in mind before writing off the Ion entirely because I have been enjoying this one. So that should about cover it. Thanks for watching.